flexor muscles of the forearm the flexor muscles are subdivided into superficial and deep groups of muscles number one superficial flexors are arranged from lateral to medial number one pronator teres muscle number two flexor carpi radialis palmaris longus flexor digitorum superficialis and last one is flexor carpi ulnaris they have common origin from the medial epicondyle all muscles of this group takes their nerve supply from the median nerve except flexor carpi ulnaris supplied by the ulnar nerve this is a superficial group of the flexor muscles of the forearm number one pronator tears flexor carpi radialis this is palmaris longus then flexor carpi ulnaris and a deeper level flexor digitorum superficialis number one pronator teres muscle arises by two heads superficial and deep head superficial head arises from the medial epicondyle and the medial supracondylar ridge of the humerus now the deep head arises from the coronoid process of the ulna insertion at pronator tuberosity of the radius the median nerve passes between two heads of pronator teres muscle the deep head separates the median nerve from the ulnar artery nerve supply of the pronator teres muscle from the median nerve action brunation of the forearm and the helps in the flexion of the elbow joint this is the pronator teres muscle superficial head and this is the deep head between the two heads pass the median nerve and the deep to the deep head there is ulnar artery the flexor carpi radialis takes origin from medial epicondyle of the humerus insertion at the base of the second and the third metacarpal bones nerve supply from the median nerve action flexes and abduct the rest then flexes the elbow joint the third muscle is palmaris longus long slender muscles which may be absent takes origin from the medial epicondyle of the humerus and the insertion it is tendon passes in front of the rest and the flexor retinaculum to be inserted into the apex of the palmar aponeurosis nerve supply from the medial nerve action flexes the rest and it makes the palmar aponeurosis tense this is the palmaris longus muscle which inserted into the apex of the palmar aponeurosis this muscle may be absent the fourth is flexor digitorum superficialis also takes origin by two heads humor ulnar head arises from the medial epicondyle and from the coronoid process of the ulna the radial head arises from the anterior oblique line of the radius insertion of the flexor digitorum superficialis the muscle subdivided into four tendons which are inserted in the middle phalanges of the medial four fingers nerve supply from the medial nerve action flexes the proximal and the middle phalanges of the medial four fingers also flexes the elbow the wrist joints also the fifth muscle is flexor carpi ulnaris takes origin by two heads humor ulnar head from the medial epicondyle ulnar head by aponeurosis from the olecranon process of the ulna insertion into the busy form bone and the fifth metacarpal bone nerve supply ulnar nerve action flexes the elbow and the wrist joints and adduct the wrist joint this is the flexor digitorum superficialis subdivided into four tendons inserted in the middle phalanges of the medial four fingers the deep group of the flexor muscles number one flexor digitorum profundus 
takes the origin from the upper three fourths of the anterior and the medial surfaces of the ulna, and also from the interosseous membrane. Insertion by four tendons also to the basis of the terminal phalanges of the medial four fingers. Nerve supply, the lateral half supplied by anterior interosseous branch of the medial nerve, while the medial half supplied by the ulnar nerve. Action flexes all joints of the fingers and wrist. This is the flexor digitorum profundus divided into four tendons to the terminal phalanges of the medial four fingers. Then flexor pollicis longus takes the origin from upper two-thirds of the anterior surface of the radius and also from the interosseous membrane. Insertion into the base of the terminal phalanges of the thumb. Nerve supply anterior interosseous nerve which is branch from the median. Action flexes all joints of the thumb and flexes the wrist joint also. The third muscle in the deep group is pronator quadratus muscle, which takes the origin from the anterior surface of the lower quarter of the ulna and inserted into also anterior surface of the lower fourth of the radius. Nerve supply from the anterior interosseous nerve. Action pronation of the four R. This is the pronator quadratus muscle and this is pronation of the forearm and this is supination of the forearm. Flexor retinaculum, it is a strong fibrous pants about 3 cm. It stretches across the anterior surface of the carpus and changing the concavity of the anterior surface of the carpus or carpal arch into the carpal tunnel. The flexor retinaculum is attached medially to the busy form and the hook of laterally attached to the tubercle of scaphoid and crest of trapezium. This is the flexor retinaculum, converting the carpal arch into carpal tunnel, and the structure passes deep to this flexor retinaculum. This means that this structure passes through carpal tunnel and the structure passes deep to the flexor retinaculum or through carpal tunnel number one flexor carpi radialis in a special tunnel tendons of flexor digitorum superficialis and the tendons of flexor digitorum profundus then tendon of flexor pollicis longus and median nerve anterior carpal branch of the radial artery also anterior carpal branch of the ulnar artery in addition to carpal branch of the anterior interosseous artery this is the flexor retinaculum converting carpal arch into carpal tunnel and this is the structure passes through the carpal tunnel tendons of flexor digitorum superficialis tendon of flexor digitorum profundus flexor pollicis longus and the median nerve passes also deep to the flexor retinaculum or inside the carpal tunnel.